Do you ever think about changing your brain? Well, first of all, your brain is an organ. And so what you're really looking at is changing your mind. And when I was growing up, you know, first job in the business, it was 1983. And they would say, Marge, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Just make sure you hire the person who's got exactly what you want because people can't learn. Well, that myth has been completely debunked because what we've learned because of the power of neuroscience is anyone anywhere who has access to conscious choice can change their mind and change their neuro pathways. It's called neuroplasticity. Our brain has the ability to relearn, to reprogram the program if we want to. So first and foremost, how do you do that if you decide you want to? Well, you've got to take care of yourself, just like your grandmother always told you. Five keys to neuroplasticity. You need to eat right, eat from the sun, eat healthy, eat food that doesn't put you into a sugar high and a sugar low. Second, get enough sleep. You can wear the aura ring or whatever you need to do to make sure you're getting enough sleep. But without sleep, our mind holds on to information that is completely useless. And we get about 140,000 bits of information a day. And our brain can only retain about 110. So we got a lot of stuff to get rid of. Third, we need to move our body. We need to exercise or walk or bike or climb. We need to keep ourselves or do yoga, keep our body in motion. Five, my or four, mindfulness. We need to train our brain, train our mind to focus on one thing. It doesn't mean you have to meditate. Maybe it means that you're washing dishes and you're being very focused on washing the dishes or you're putting your phone away and you're just walking mindfully through the force preserve. The fifth key to neuroplasticity is novelty, learning something new. Stephen Covey told us, sharpen your saw, but he didn't say that it would keep our mind fresh, our brain agile. So continuing to do new things, exciting things, learning new things, it builds new neural pathways. And you could do that by even ordering a new kind of food at a new kind of restaurant. New experiences keep us fresh and teach our brain that we need to be on the, on the go or on the, on the awareness of new things. So how do you retrain your brain? How do you keep yourself sharp? Well, you create habits, habits of exercise, habits of eating right, habits of cooking, habits of meditation, habits of yoga, good habits that help you be strong and be smart. Go for it.